Hey guys, Anthony here, and yes, it's time for another Firefox review. So Firefox 49 was released on September 20th, 2016. It was scheduled to be released on September 13th, but was delayed by a week because of a couple of blocker bugs. Anyway, Firefox 49 is here, so let's see what's new. Well, first off, do you remember Firefox Hello? The web-based text, voice, and video communication tool, which was similar to Skype and was introduced back in December 2014? Well, Mozilla has decided to retire it because it just wasn't worth keeping it any longer. They've provided a list of some third-party alternatives. I haven't had a chance to try them out, but I will. Secondly, in my previous review, I talked about Mozilla implementing multi-process architecture, or E10S. Essentially, it'll split up Firefox into multiple processes to improve responsiveness, stability, and security of the browser. It was enabled only for a small percentage of Firefox 48 users who were using compatible Firefox add-ons, and they have now enabled it to a bigger user base in Firefox 49. You can type about colon support in your address bar and check the multi-process window section to see if yours is enabled. Mine, as you can see, is not enabled as of yet. In Firefox 49, the login manager will now allow HTTPS pages to use saved HTTP logins. So if you saved a password on an HTTP site, it will now work on an HTTPS site. If you previously saved your login in Firefox on HTTP sites, you will find this change beneficial. Another enhancement in Firefox is in its reader mode. It's a little known feature in Firefox that strips away ads, sidebars, buttons, etc. to give you a clean readable page. It works great for articles and news sites though sometimes it strips off too much. The enhanced version now includes a narrate option, so you can have the content read to you. You also have options to change the font, resize text, line spacing, the width, and have a darker background. Firefox 49 also included other minor tweaks to improve performance. You can check the full list of changes and improvements in the release notes. I will leave a link in the description section. As usual, I ran the BrowserMark benchmark test on Firefox 49 and Google Chrome 53. These were the results. Overall, no surprise, Google Chrome continues to outperform Firefox. But I'm really looking forward to seeing the performance changes as the Electrolysis project evolves. Well, that's it for now. Until next time, thanks for stopping by. And don't forget to share thoughts, comments, or just say hi. Cheers.